Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Monday, August 12th, 2024. And today I'm talking about fentanyl overdose deaths on the decline. While fentanyl is a synthetic opioid that is 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times stronger than morphine. Like other opioids, fentanyl use can lead to addiction. Now, most illicit fentanyl is made in labs outside the country using chemical precursors from China and produced in labs by Mexican drug cartels. Then it's smuggled across the U.S.-Mexico border where drug dealers may mix fentanyl with other drugs such as heroin, cocaine, meth, and MDMA to increase the drug's effects, sometimes without the users even being aware of this. Now, fentanyl overdoses in the United States rose sharply in 2016. In fact, during the period from 2016 to 2020, fentanyl-related overdose deaths rose almost 300%, and overdose deaths from fentanyl continued to rise until 2022. So what caused this? Experts said the pandemic combined with social isolation, economic stress, and disruption in addiction services. Then in 2023, for the first time in five years, the country has experienced a 3% decrease in fentanyl overdose deaths. Now, in 2024, preliminary data suggests that the downward trend in fentanyl deaths continues. So what's causing the decreased number of fentanyl deaths? While well, experts point to increased access to overdose reversal drugs such as Narcan, other harm reduction strategies include drug checking, fentanyl test strips, and expanding addiction services. So what can the average person do if you suspect someone is overdosing on fentanyl? Well, first is administer a dose of reversal medication like Narcan if available and call 911. Try to keep the person awake and breathing. Lay the person on their side to prevent choking and stay with the person until medical emergency assistance arrives. That's my message today. Please like, please share, please repost, and make sure that if you have someone, a loved one or a friend that is struggling with fentanyl addiction, that you keep a supply of Narcan on hand. Take care, folks.